do without this. Damn snow. I'm Chris Meyer. Join me and the Legendary Customs team as we take ordinary rides and craft them into Legendary Customs. <laughs> hey everybody, Chris with Legendary Customs. It's Monday. We're supposed to get 10 inches of snow tonight. It's gonna be crazy. What happened yesterday? My snow plow went down. So today, instead of talking to you about building some really cool cars, I'm gonna have to work on my snow plow. So thought you'd let, let you yell it on that. But right now, this morning when we woke up, it was negative 11. Right now I think it's maybe up to 10 degrees. So it's cold. Snow from this weekend, most snow we had all year. But tonight and tomorrow, we're supposed to get even more. So anyway, we're gonna go work on the snow plow that no longer works, and I have driveways to do. Need a working plow. As everybody knows, <laughs> we do custom cars here. And I'm fixing the snow plow because we're supposed to get snow. This 49 Pontiac is what I'm supposed to be working on today, fixing the brakes. We're gonna do this real quick. This is going too far now. <laughs> this is going way too far. <laughs> we are ordering paint today for the 
1962 unibody that's going on the 2011 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. This particular vehicle, we're going to order the paint from the coating store. We've ordered paint from them before in the past. They've had great service, quality of the paint is good, great coverage, and their clear coat lays down really nice and smooth. They are kind of a budget price point for what they have, but they must not have very much overhead because their paint is an excellent quality. Um, we did a hood once for a 55 Chevy truck and I did it in the wrong color and I had to take it up to our media blaster to have the paint removed. He asked what in the hell we used for paint because it would not come off with his media blasting. Normally a hood for a 55 Chevy truck would take him about 45 minutes. He worked on that thing for three hours to get that paint off. So that tells me that this product is very durable. And again, like I said, it covers great. Typically two to three coats of the color, you'll get even coverage and complete coverage. And I always buy the Glamour Coat Clear, which is um, their high-end clear from them. And it lays down really nice, buffs out really great, color sands really easy. Anyway or it from the coating the coating store but everything that they do is online so i just went on and it's really easy to do i selected for this particular build their solid colors i ordered the candy apple red that's going to be uh, the top color and then i ordered the wimbledon white i ordered also a red onyx sealer and then i ordered some build-up primer for this particular build also but uh, that whole um, thing to my doorstep is very affordable. We're still spending over a thousand bucks, but for all of the gallons of clear, all the gallons of paint, I think we're getting a total of four sprayable gallons, plus the sealer, plus a primer, plus I ordered a hundred um, mixing cups. So anyway, really, a great company to work with so I already have everything entered in I just hit continue pays for it and typically it will be at our doorstep in three days so when you are ordering from them you do have to order ahead of time they have thousands of colors many of them just factory matches and they have their own line of colors to um, to look at but uh, plan ahead you can't do it the day you need paint but they do mix it and they shake it and when it shows up it's uh, pretty well mixed and ready to go but anyway the coating store online been using them for about five years now and uh, they work out great off to body shop supply So the guys are in need of supplies, so I'm headed inside to grab it for them.
gentlemen. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Drive safe. Is it recording? Yeah. Is it freaking camera recording? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, today was a great day. Everything on the 1962 unibody is completed for body work. That's done. So now we're going to take it down the stairs, get it into epoxy, seal it. Ordered all the paint today as we discussed earlier. So as soon as that comes in, the whole body will go into epoxy. Then red oxide sealer then the red paint the white paint and then the clear coat will actually be way down the road after we do the antiquing the 2011 squad that's going underneath this vehicle that has all the wires out of it now marked labeled and we're sending that off to have the wire loom reworked for the body swap and finally today the 1949 Pontiac has the brakes that it deserves. It had zero brakes before. Now they are perfect. Brand new um, pads in the back, in the front. Um, we have uh, all new cylinders all the way around. So they work great. So tomorrow we'll have to adjust them, make sure that everything is has equal pressure. And then this thing, We'll be able to go down the road. Hopefully tomorrow we'll actually have this started. But today was a great day. Kang worked feverishly on wiring. I know that's one of his favorite things. Not really, but he did a great job. And Zach busted his tail helping me with this, getting the master cylinder back in, the brake lines in. And he also worked on the Ford quite a bit today too. Hey, good morning everybody. Working on the 1949 Pontiac. Currently not running. When I came in, it had no spark and had problems with the starter. So we took the starter out, cleaned it up, took it apart, cleaned it up, did brakes all the way around. Those are working perfectly now. So now we're trying to figure out the spark. We put in a new coil, we put in new points, new condenser, now we have spark. So what I am doing now is gapping all the spark plugs on this particular model. It's 0 0.025 for a gap. So I'm just gapping everything. It did not come set from the factory at this. So now they're all gapped. 0 0.025, all you do is you have a feeler gauge, put it between electrode and the arm there and it should slide in and out with some resistance and you shouldn't be able to go up and down so there's a little bit of resistance then you know they're gapped correctly and then just throw them in the cylinders this is a Pontiac straight eight it's a monster of a motor I've never, this is the first one that I've seen in person, seen them on TV. In fact, in the Buick, the straight eight that was in Rain Man, in that big old Buick convertible, is very similar to this. And they're just an amazing motor. I've never heard this one run, because like I said, when it came in, it had no spark. But I am told that the straight eight has an amazing sound. Now this particular one is going to be louder than heck because when we had it up on the lift I see that there is no exhaust hooked up. So that will be another part of the project later down the road but right now our job is just to get it running and stopping. We got the stopping part done. Hopefully we'll get the running part done right now. you're long enough. My arms are long enough, but my belly's too big. <laughs> All right, so 
So they're all in finger tight. When you're putting in spark plugs, you always want to start them with your fingers. Because if you don't, you might cross thread them. Anyway, that's plugs are in. We'll let Kang and I get on this. See if we have sparks, see if we can get it running. Okay, we had all the plugs in finger tight. And then what you do, is you take your wrench and make sure you're finger tight and then only quarter turn, not even. Okay, it's seated, quarter turn. And that one I didn't get finger tight because my belly was in the way, but now it's seated, quarter turn. So these are all set to go. Now we have to do the plug wires. Always number your plug wires when you're taking them off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, six, four. So we have two and eight in the firing order. Should be right on top of the. Oh. So it's one, six, two, five, eight, three, seven, four. So one, this is a problem. So one, two, we had four in the place of two. Okay. That's pretty cool how this dent in it. So one, that's kind of short. that there, hook this up, hook the coil up, in theory, it should run. Well, jump on in, King. So here's what we're gonna do. It's eight minutes to four. We'll let it charge all night. Mm -hmm. This bitch has to start tomorrow. Do you want to check the brakes? Do you want to hit the brakes once? Okay. They work.
I am outside in a snowbank with the 49 Pontiac. You might be asking why. Well, we dug into it a little bit more after hours and we found out that we have two valves that are sticking wide open. So I said it's gonna run and it will run. It's just gonna take some more work to get it to there. We have a rebuilt fuel pump. So we have the fuel that we need. We have the starter rebuilt. So we have everything that's needed to turn it over. We have the ignition system all rebuilt. So we have spark. So we have fuel, we have spark, we have air. We have everything that's needed to have this thing run, except we need the valves to open and close as they need. So, out of the eight cylinders, we have two of them that are down, and then we have two of them that are weak compression. Again, it's probably just the valves not seating down like they should. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the head off, look at it, the head is gonna go out to be rebuilt no matter what. We're gonna look at the cylinders. If the cylinders are, have anything that's even questionable, we'll pull the whole engine and have it rebuilt totally. Um, believe it or not, they make everything for this motor still today. So I can get pistons in four different sizes for this Flathead 8, which is amazing that that's available. I already have the full gasket sit, kit, so it's all ready to go for that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna dig into it later. Stay tuned, the 49 Pontiac will be back. Right now it's gonna be outside of the shop in the snow bank, which is a shame, but sometimes here you have to do that. I would never do that with a show quality vehicle. This particular one, it's a daily driver, it's going to be. We have everything that we need here for the ingredients to have a great vehicle for him to get out and enjoy. So just gotta take it to the next level with the head job. Anyway, appreciate you for joining in, watching this episode. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on our Facebook, and of course, follow us on our Instagram. You're all very much appreciated. Until next time, talk to you later.